Hey there, welcome back to Julie's Wreath Boutique. I know today we're gonna to do something a little different and I don't normally get in front of the camera. I'm usually all you're seeing are my hands, but today I wanted to share somebody very special to me who has helped me in my journey to get where I am today. So whether you are a creative like me or maybe you sell things like um, Pampered Chef or maybe Norwex products or maybe you're a real estate agent or maybe you have a brick and mortar store, I wanna show you, I wanna introduce you really to my business coach. My business coach is Jennifer Allwood. She's been my business coach for three years. And as you know, I'm not gonna bring anybody to you that I wouldn't recommend. And I really believe in the way that Jennifer does her business. I believe in the techniques and the things that I've learned from her have been immense. So um, to give you a little background, I joined her group three years ago. I went from 10,000 followers on Facebook to 216,000 followers today on Facebook. So I've put in the work, I've followed her example, I've done what she's told me to do, and this is where I am today. So what I want you to do is just sit back, listen to this interview. I hope that you enjoy it. It comes from the heart, and I hope you learn something today. So... Again, thank you for joining joining us in Wreath Creators and More. This is a group that I started three and a half years ago, um, and mm -hmm. it has grown immensely. I never thought we'd have a group this big, but um, one of my biggest questions um, is, do you have a business coach? And a lot of people ask me, um, when are you going to start a business coaching group? And I've just, I know I've talked to you about that in um, Kansas City a couple years ago, mm -hmm. but I'm just not there. I just, I'm like, it's just not there. Okay. Person. I'm not in the right space. Yeah. And, and you know your lane. Exactly. I, I, I feel like when it's time, I'll have the piece. Now I do some consulting, but I don't have like a coaching group. So um, one of the big questions for a lot of um, our people in this group is, um, who should I, should I get a business coach? Where do I start? I mean, people don't even know where to start. Mm -hmm. They don't know whether or not they should do a Facebook business page or Facebook group. Yeah. And there's so many questions. And I just got to the point where I thought, you know what, I need to ask Jennifer if she would come in here and she would talk to my followers here and, and members of this group, because people are looking for um, guidance, especially yeah. after the year we've had. Yeah. And I only recommend um, people and products that I believe in. And I've been in your group for three years. I know you have. Thank you and, for your um, loyalty. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So I want you to kind of introduce yourself and kind of explain what you do and just kind of share who you are. Yeah. So, um, so my name's Jennifer Owen and Julie, thank you so much for having me here today. I know I don't have a ton of time on my calendar, but I appreciate you like just letting me come in and chat with your people and trusting me with them. But, um, so I started a decorative painting company in Kansas city where I live back in the year 2000. So I, uh, had a desk job, a day job before that, a degree in computers. I sat at a job every day. I absolutely hated and dreamed of, you know, having my own business outside of the cubicle hell that I felt like I was living in. But I also knew um, that I was a super responsible person. And I just probably wouldn't leave that job because it was a good pay. There were benefits. We wanted to start a family, you know, all the things, but I got laid off from that job. And often, you know, God, I'll do something fun like that <laughs> to kind of push you out of the nest. And, and I had been painting for people kind of on the nights and the weekends, um, because I'm really a creative at heart. I you can tell from, you know, I love color and I love making things look a certain way. And I, I love anything that has to do with like projects and decorating and all the things. And I've been kind of like playing with that, but I hadn't really made it into a business. I didn't even really know what that looked like because I didn't know any other entrepreneurs. I mean, everybody that I knew worked a nine to five job, but um, I had this, this period of time in between getting laid off at one job and applying for other ones that I'm like, well, what would happen if I just started to see if I could make some money with the painting? And that quickly grew into a very um, lucrative business that I ended up, uh, you know, the first year we were in business, we, um, we were doing really well. And, um, but then I got pregnant with our oldest son, Noah, and I wanted to stay home and, you know, raise our babies. And so then I had to figure out, well, how do I 
stay home and raise babies while keeping this creative business going. And so I figured out how to hire other women to go out and paint for me and owned that business for 17 years. Um, and it was fabulous. But about five or six years ago, there was a little bit of a shift, Julie, as you know, because you watched my story. I was doing really well on social media and we were using Facebook in particular to push people to contact me for painting locally here in Kansas City. And then also I decided to start selling like painting videos online. And I know in your industry, like wreath making, there's also things like that. You can right. buy tutorials and I don't know if people actually send them to you anymore like they did five or six years ago. But I thought, well, let me see if I could like teach people how to paint, you know, on some online videos and a few online groups. And that went to um, $100,000 a year in 14 months. And my Facebook kept growing and growing and people kept saying, well, how are you growing? And how do you have a hundred thousand people on Pinterest? And, and I didn't ever see myself as a coach, just kind of like you. I didn't, right. I was like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. You know, and I would give them ideas on what they could do. And I would look at their Facebook forum and try to help them. And people kept saying, I will literally pay you to like coach me. <clears throat> and that idea was really foreign to me. But um, eventually one day I said, okay. And so I said, I'm going to start this, this group. I, this was four years ago and it's going to be $47 a month. And I'll teach you how to build your Facebook and your Instagram and your Pinterest and your email list and how to sell things there. And, um, and we have, you know, well over 2000 people in that group right now, four years later. So it's been my honor and pleasure that I get to teach other women, you know, just like you, um, how to use the internet so they can stay home and do what they want to do, but also make money. And, and, the, and the big thing that people, um, the big question that I get a lot, even I've done some lives in the last few days is people, how do I build, build a customer base? Will you, I tell, I tell people, my friends and families didn't buy my wreaths. They didn't, I mean, a few. They of, might buy one in the beginning, but that's yeah, it. <laughs> then they stop because they think, oh, she'll just make it for me or I'll get a good discount. Um, and that's okay. That shouldn't be your, your target customer audience. And so basically, and I hear, I hear this phrase and I kind of roll my eyes when I hear this phrase, the market is saturated. No, the market is saturated. saturated. So I figured this out a few years ago because um, they're in, so the people that are in your group are also following all these people that are doing Reese. So when all you do is follow other people who are doing the same thing as you, of course, you're going to think, oh my gosh, there's so many of us. How am I going to stand out in the crowd? What's going to make me any different there? There's no more room to do this because there's a million people already selling it. But the truth is like your clients, Julie, the people that follow you, they don't also follow, you know, 9,000 other wreath makers, you know what I'm saying? But they're interested in buying wreaths. And so what I have found is that there's one of two things that happens. Either A, you're following so many wreath makers that you think everybody's doing it and they're not, by Mm -hmm. the way. And, And also, by the way, you have a particular style that's perhaps different than everybody else, you know, that the market still needs. So that's one thing. The second thing is a lot of women will say, oh, the market's saturated. And it's kind of a way of self protecting. And, and allowing themselves permission to not actually try to sell and try to make it into a business. Because right. it's easier to say the market's saturated, I'm never gonna be able to sell anything than it is to be like, okay, I'm gonna name the business. I'm gonna start the Facebook business page. I'm gonna actually put something up for sale because that feels vulnerable. I mean, that feels like you're standing on the internet naked, right? So yeah. it's easier sometimes to just go, ah, there's too many people doing it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, no, you and I are right here with that. <laughs> I, I totally agree with you. And, I, and I, that's what frustrates me about it is because you have to find your people. And so how do you find your people? Social media gives us the tools that we didn't have 20 years ago. Oh my gosh, right. And we are so blessed to have those tools now because I really believe God put me in a position five years ago to start. I had two small children, um, one in college, and I... I we needed more income and I was creative. I didn't know what to do. Yeah. And I started with the, the wreaths and then it just kind of snowballed. And I got to the, I had a wreath go viral on Facebook and then um, that always yeah. helps. Yeah. And then I started this group with a friend of mine, Michelle of a noble touch. Mm-hmm. And then I hit about 10,000 followers and you freaked and, out. Probably. And, and I, well, I was just like, okay, what do I do? How do I get to the next step? I didn't know how to get to the next step. And that's when I found you. Yeah. That's when um, a friend recommended, um, she, you had a quote, and I can't even remember the quote, but it was such a good quote that really spoke to me that day. I think I found you in December and in January, you opened your group back up. Yeah. And for me, I know me and I said, okay, I need to do 
a full year. So I paid for a full year because if, you, if, if, if I paid just by the month, I was like, it's just an excuse to give up. But what I love about that, Julie, is that you know yourself well enough to know how you're going to react to things. Right. And I think part of, you know, making a hobby into a business and actually getting the business off the ground is really knowing ourselves. And so you knew if you didn't sign up for a month that you might, you know, back out at some point, but you really right. wanted the accountability. You really wanted um, to be in a group with a lot of like-minded people. Um, I know faith is a big component for you and you know that I'm a Christian woman. So that's a huge thing for me. So we're in very much in a alignment there. But you know, um, the right coach should be not only focusing on the business piece of it, but the mind part of it that affects the business piece of it too. And as you know, my coaching in the last few years has really evolved to where I'm talking a lot more to women about mindset and about what that, you know, why we stop ourselves from doing certain things and how we self-sabotage and what that looks like and how to get past those things. And I'm always coming from a Christian angle, uh, but a right coach will help you get from where you're currently at to where you're wanting to go faster. That's what, that's what coaching is there. It's not just rah, rah, rah. It's strategy and, um, and helping you get the aha moments that you need in order to get from where you're at to where you're going faster. That that's what you're paying for. You're, you're paying for the shortcut and you're paying, you're paying for the breakthrough. So absolutely. And so in three years, I went from about 10,000 followers to 216,000 followers. And, and the same thing with YouTube. I think I had about maybe 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm over 125,000 now. Okay. So, so my point is, is that the information, the one I, and I told you this before, the what's, what's working now yeah. training at the beginning of the month. Is, is that my your favorite? favorite? Yeah. Yes, because yeah. I can watch that while I'm doing my makeup and my hair and have my little notebook to write things yeah. down. And um, it's just gives you the information because social media is constantly changing. All the time. Facebook is it, not it makes the same way. Yeah. yeah. I mean, even in 2020 to 2021, yeah. I'm seeing changes. Yeah. And that's what I feel like you are so good at helping people like me um, and, and people who don't even know what they want to do. Yeah. I feel like you kind of give them a, like, okay, the motivation to do that. And I know you have a, um, a business boot camp starting on Monday. We do. Yes. And then it's going to be leading right into for people that would want to join in my coaching group and we'll have the what's working now for February. Can you believe we're almost in February already? Oh, but yeah. um, one of the things I'm going to be talking in that what's working now is how to do social media. If, if you hate social media, <laughs> because yeah. I know there are people right now who are like, it doesn't feel like a safe place. It looks like a dumpster fire. People are mean on Facebook. Um, they yeah. don't like the censorship. They worry about getting things, you know, taken away. And so we are going to be talking about that in the first week of February, but yeah, what we're launching, um, it starts Monday and you don't have to be there live. So thank you for bringing this up is called your dream biz bootcamp. And it's for people who either they don't know what gifts they have, Julie, which some of the people in your, my, in your group, it might apply to them. They don't know what their gifts are and, or right. they maybe know that they're talented at some creative step, but they don't know like, well, how could I actually turn that into a business? Or they're sitting at a day job that they hate like me 21 years ago. And they're like, how do I get out of this? I don't, I don't know what I could even do. So we're doing a five day boot camp um, next week where we help you figure out like on day one, we're talking all about your gifts. Like what are the things that you could actually do? What gifts did God give you on this side of heaven that people would pay for? Because it's interesting yeah. to me and it breaks my heart when a woman will come to me and she's like, I want to have a business, but I don't even know what I'm good at. And I'm like, oh, honey, okay. I have five ways next week. We are going to, on the day one, where I'm going to show you how you figure out what you're good at. And then we've got a whole day where I'm going to make people do research and show them how to do the research on, is this a business that could make money? Now, if you have people who, you know, are wanting to make Reese, all they need to do is look at Julie. Okay. <laughs> case A, case A right, right here. Um, if you want to learn how to make Reese, yes. you can watch my YouTube channel. There you go. Exactly. Exactly. And then we're going to spend a day figuring out, okay, so where, um, how are you going to name your business and let's get your Facebook page started. And you know, Julie, I always say you got to do Facebook plus one other social media because we can't trust Facebook. It's a jealous boyfriend. It does irrational things. So we got to do Facebook plus one. So 
I'm going to help you get started on Facebook, show you what your cover photo needs to look like, all those things and how to name your business. And there's strategy to naming your business Absolutely. Um, because one of the reasons your stuff has grown quickly is because you named it well. So we're going to, we're going to work on that. And then we're going to work on now what social media should you start on? Because it could be Facebook plus TikTok. Maybe it's YouTube. Maybe it's Pinterest. Um, you know, maybe it's uh, starting on Clubhouse, which I'm loving, which is probably not most of your audience, but you don't, I don't want people to think I have to go to Instagram. I have to go to Twitter. There's a ton of different socials that you can do in addition to Facebook. So we're going to help people figure out where they should go. And, um, and so it's going to be a lot of fun. And, um, and I, I don't know, am I able to give them the link if they want? Oh yeah. I, I put the link it's in the top here. Um, Okay. So yeah, just grab the link there. And I want to make sure people know you don't have to be there live for those of you who, um, work a day job. So you don't have to be there live. And um, when you're checking out, it will give you an option for joining something called the war room. And it will give you the recordings if you want to take the recordings with you forever after the week is done. Um, And it also gives you like, it's almost like a VIP session of um, questions for me and then a prayer piece of it. Because um, what I have found is that sometimes Julie, and you know this, I will teach people strategy, but they still have this thing in their heart where they don't think that they can do it. And they don't, they're afraid of what, their family's going to think and they're afraid. And so I want to pray over it. Yes, there you go. <laughs> the boss of them. And so I do the war room as a time of just more intentional prayer and some more intense training for people. And so if you're a person of faith, I completely suggest you get the war room. Absolutely. And even if you're not a person of faith, you need to get the book. Fear is not the boss of you. I will add the link to this post because it is just really, it's just really good. And I feel like you hit you can hear my ice maker in the background. Oh, was that what that was? <laughs> yeah, that is. Um, but you you just hit so many different points. And I just kind of feel like in reading the book, it number one, it's an easy read. Number two, um, I just feel like we're talking. You're just sitting down and you're talking and you're coaching and you're you're just like, okay, this is what you need to hear. And so I just really I'm short her. girl, but you can do it. It is. I've sent this book to many of my friends and family. Oh. So it's just it's Thank it's you. so worth it. And Everybody, I will leave you the link for it's like 10 bucks on Amazon right now. It is. It is $10 on Amazon and Amazon usually puts it, you know, a, yeah. you know at 10 bucks for very long, but we've got almost 1500 five-star reviews. So, you know, awesome. books doing awesome. well, so. and I can leave, I can go leave a few more. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> And if I had been thinking, I would have thought, gosh, I, I, we should have given a book away or something to one of your people that end up. Yeah. No, the, and we can yeah, do that. I'll do that. Totally done that. I'll do that on a, another live in this group. I'll do okay, perfect. I'll, I'll give away some books. Yep. I would love um, to send you some. What, what is like one of the things that you wish when you were first starting out as a creative, when you were painting, yep. what is, what, what do you wish you would have had somebody tell you that? Quit caring what people think that is the easiest thing yes. or, or not the easiest thing, but that's the hardest thing to get over, but right. the thing that will make the biggest difference. And, right. and that doesn't mean we look at the people that we live with and we don't care what they think. Right. I'm not right. saying that, but I'm talking about strangers on the internet. I'm talking about your sister-in-law who you don't even really like that much anyway. And you're kind of relieved that you can't see each other in real life. You know, this year I'm talking I about love my sister-in-laws, by the way, I know well, I love my sister-in-laws too. <laughs> But, um, you know, because I remember when I started, I'm like, nobody else in my industry is doing painting videos. They're, they're going to be upset. And some of them were, and and I was worried, like, what if I don't know enough, you know, that to teach somebody, what if I, what if I go into people's houses and paint their walls, but I'm not actually as good as the other girl. What if they pay me and the paint looks terrible? Like I went through a whole lot of that. Um, and, but what I wish that I could tell that girl is you know, you get better as you do things and you figure things out as you do things. And, um, I had no idea what doing that business, starting that business 21 years ago, and then going into the coaching space a few years ago, Julia, I didn't realize the doors that it would open up for our family financially. I mean, at one point I was just trying to make sure I didn't have to go back to corporate America, but then, you know, it's really shifted. You may have seen that article that Forbes did on me last week, you know, to multi-millions of dollars a year. And when I look back and I was paralyzed for a long time because I was scared and I wish that I could go back and tell her chop, chop, like time is, you know, ticking and you've got this huge opportunity on the other side of that. So that's what I would tell my old self. And that's what I would tell some of your ladies. Some of these women are sitting on a gold mine for a business. They've got the talent. They oh, just yeah. need somebody to kind of help them through the steps. And so if I can do that anyway, I would love to do that. Well, and, and I feel like everybody, you might know how to make reads, but if you don't know how to market yourself, amen, you're losing out. And I can, I can definitely attest 
to this business has changed the trajectory of my family's life. Absolutely. Totally. And we're, we're doing, we're making decisions for our future that we never thought would be possible. Don't you wish you had started sooner? Oh my goodness. Because I make a wreath. And, and like you said, you did tutorials. Yeah. I, I sold tutorials. I still sell tutorials. Yeah. That I have four different streams of income now. It's not yeah. just selling wreaths. It's all these different things. And I feel like I learned that from you. And I don't, I don't bring you into this group lightly. I don't tell my people or my followers lightly. Um, if I recommend something or somebody, I believe in it. And so I have just appreciated everything Thank that you. you have taught me. And there's a lot of stuff I haven't even delved into. I love the fact that you have an app. So mm -hmm. that you can go on the phone. It's for people that hate Facebook in particular. <laughs> It's you can just go to the app so and get my training. Easy. It's so easy. And it's it's just like, okay, just scroll. Okay, yep, I need to do this one. And what's nice is if they join your group, they have access to all these other trainings that you've already done. It's yeah. like, and it's you know, one of the things we've been really intentional to about Julie is um, I am truly an introvert at heart mm -hmm. and, and truly a creative. So like my, the best day I could have would just be like to not be on the internet. It would be to read my book, rearrange my furniture, um, paint something pretty and not speak to anybody. You know what I mean? Like, and so I'm, I'm kind of awkward. I'm in, totally an introvert and I'm not techie in the least. And so we're always trying to make sure that in our trainings, we're talking to other creatives who are not very techie, who don't necessarily love social media because you can still, there's still a lot of different ways that you can grow. Even if you're like, well, I'm not Julie. She's so good at Facebook live. She's so good at YouTube, but I can't do that. But there's still other ways of growing a business and still right. really making good money at it. And, and that was all a learning curve. I'm not techie at all, but, but you can learn it's possible. It's just, if you have to try, and if you don't try, you'll never know. And yeah. so, um, I, I totally understand that feeling. Um, so people also need to understand that you have a team behind you. So if you don't know the answers, you guys get the answers. That's what I find that when we have questions in the Facebook group, you guys are really on top of it. Yeah, we, so. we, we try very hard to. And the reason, you know, we've done that is because since I'm not a real techie person, I can tell you, you know, what I would do. But if you literally have a question about why your, you know, free wreath tutorial isn't sending automatically, we have techie people in the group that um, can help with those things. So our, our hope was that they would be able to, you know, join my training and get everything they need from, okay, I have this idea, you know, and, and so that's what we're doing in the boot camp next week. Um, I have an idea or I want to have an idea or I want to start a business, but I want to take you all the way through that to having your social media set up, your website set up, right. and you're actually cranking in dollars every month. That's the hope. And, and I and I think the boot camp is good because I think it'll give people a little bit of a, a taste of what Jennifer is is like. With and it's only ten bucks. Yeah. It's only ten bucks. Like I tell people all the time. Exactly. And the reason, by the way, that we charge Julie is because when you pay, you pay attention, right? That's it's right. like it's like when you sign up for a gym membership and then you're like, crap. Yes. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so if we did it for free, people wouldn't show up and I can't get breakthroughs for people if they actually don't watch the training. And Absolutely. so, you know, we really designed it for the person who's like, yeah, I do want something different this year in 2021. Yeah. I actually want to start a business. I hate this job I'm going to, or I'm tired of my husband having to work two jobs every week, or I just want to be able to take a vacation this year. Cause I do believe we're going to be able to travel again. So we're, tr yeah. I'm trying to get that girl in um, cause if I can get her to just sit through some trainings, you know, I have the ability to get a girl believing, you know, that oh, she can do it. And, um, and so, and getting her the tools that she needs to actually get started. So that's who we're hoping we're going to get the start with us on Monday. Well, I want to ask you like four questions really quick. Cause I know we got to let you go. Yeah. Facebook page or Facebook group, Facebook page, a hundred percent of the time, okay. Facebook page or, or Facebook or IG. That's a tough one. My demographic and your demographic are on Facebook. Facebook is for middle-aged women. Yeah. Who buys wreaths? Middle-aged women. But I will tell you who's nicer. If the question is who's got nicer people on it, Facebook or Instagram, Instagram. Yeah. And if you also want to ask me who um, is a more engaged follower when you're building a following, Instagram. Yeah. 
Well, I'm going to leave you there because I know we got to let you go, but thank you so much for joining Julie, you're us. Amazing. I, am, I am so proud of you. Oh, and I literally you. just wrote myself a note that I'd like to do a, a video with you and um, we can kind of show off your business. I would love to. Gone through our training and as a way to just kind of show off some of our students. So I wrote that down. My team's going to reach out to you. I'm okay. so proud of you. You're oh, amazing. Thank you, Jennifer. God bless thank you and you. your group. All right. All right. Bye-bye.